Hello guys, if you use roles and permissions in your Laravel project with or without any package, what if you want to define some kind of super admin or so-called god mode or whatever you call it to overwrite any roles and permissions. So there's roles and permission system and then someone else logs in with super admin who has access to everything, all the current function and the functions in the future. I will show you two ways in this short video. First was written on Laravel Daily.com quite a while ago in 2022. So if you use gates, define the gates of updating post, for example, this comes from Laravel documentation. It used to be an auth service provider, now in Laravel 11, it's most likely in the app service provider because there is no auth service provider by default, but you can still create that manually if you wish. It's a personal preference. Anyway, so if you define gates like this one, you can override any gate with this syntax. Gate before, which has two parameters of current user and ability, which is gate name. And no matter the ability, for example, you can do something like this, which would override all the abilities with current user, by some condition like role ID or something, or for example, another case, if you use like Spotty Media Library or any package or any method about permissions or roles, the same thing, just return true with gate before. So that's one way. And another way I saw while reviewing the project genealogy, which I will mention a few more times in upcoming videos on this channel. So while browsing around, I saw this variable, god mode true in .env. So this is an interesting use case. Not sure I would use that, but I want to show you as one of the options. So if your .env contains some kind of variable, for example, allowing God mode on local environment in .env on your machine, but it is false on any other server by default, for example, then you can check God mode in any parts of your application like this. In this case, it's adding or removing global scope for user is developer and the same condition is in the blade as well and in other model and in .env example. So you can define that overriding super admin per environment. Again, I'm not sure about the implementation here, but I like the idea that you can enable super admin for your local or staging server or something like that. The only thing I would change here, it's kind of a bad practice to use env function, env helper directly in the code, in the blade or in the model. Instead of that, so here I open the project, the same model, instead of env, you should use config values. For example, you need to define in config app or in config whatever, define the variable with env as the default place where to take the data from, then default value, fallback value, defined in the config. This is done for all the other values in config app. This is kind of a default standard practice. So you just add your own one more variable. And then in the code, whenever you need that, instead of doing this, you do config app god mode like this. And then you don't need the default because it is defined already in the config. And it's not only shorter, it also allows to cache the config. If you use env directly in the code and run php artisan config cache the env values will not be cached but whatever uses the config would be cached successfully so yeah kind of a two-in-one tip on how to override the gates with super admin or god mode have you implemented something like that in your projects maybe in some other way let's discuss in the comments below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos